First, I would like to send my very best wishes to everybody who is attending this symposium in Malta. I would just love to be with you, apart from anything else I could do with an hour or two in the sun, but unfortunately work calls and I have other commitments that I can't break. But I just first of all want to send you my very best wishes and wish you a successful symposium. Just a one minute message. First of all, about pain itself. Look, everybody experiences pain, we know that. But there's pain that hurts you and pain that changes you. And sometimes, the way I describe it is, pain goes rogue. And it's no longer the symptom of an underlying disease, but it becomes an entity in itself. And I think that is something we are moving towards very slowly. Um, at, at some point, I had hoped we might have got there in Ireland. We still haven't, but I, I do believe we're moving in that direction. And indeed, SIP has to take huge credit for that because SIP is the voice of those who suffer from chronic pain. So I believe that already in your work, you have made positive and substantial changes to the way pain is viewed in the EU. For example, you had those very powerful council conclusions from the Italian presidency, but also you have raised awareness very significantly within the parliament on the issue of chronic pain. And indeed, I look forward to hearing some of your positive policy recommendations uh, that we can bring to the attention of legislators and opinion formers within the parliament. So I wish you well, uh, uh, a good day's work or two days work, however long you're there. And as I said, I look forward to, to working with you on what comes out uh, of this symposium in Malta.